Hey, welcome back to Wither Farms. Today we're going to go ahead and try to get our uh, field over here balanced out with nitrogen, as well as our grass field. So as of right now, we probably just leave the silage bales that we created the last episode just on the field for now. Uh, we'll collect those up a little bit later, because we're pretty much in the, the same day as the last episode, so those haven't even gotten close to even fermenting yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get a fertilizer spreader. Um, I think we'll end up just, <clears throat> I think we'll just end up buying one. Because uh, we have 174,000, so those contracts we did over the last couple of episodes have really helped us. Uh, but I kind of want to show you here. So the nitrogen levels on the grass field, since we just cut it, is pretty much zero. <laughs> pretty much zero. So we definitely need to get that down. Uh, but I think with grass field, kind of what the experience that I've been having is that grass is a little bit different when it comes to spreading nitrogen for some reason. I think kind of like in the base game where you have to do, or base game seasons, you have to fertilize it three times. And the first time is usually already fertilized. So it sounds like in season, or it sounds like with precision farming, it's not. So let's fertilize that over. We'll see where it's at, see what kind of, where the nitrogen level needs to be, and then we'll figure that out to see if we have to do another application or not. Because on Wilhelmina Forest, I think I have to do at least two applications, I think. Uh, we won't worry about the field 33 yet, just because I want to be able to get stuff planted, and we'll use the fertilizer from the planter to get that in. Something else that I was kind of looking around, because we have... We have decent money right now, and I think the more fields we have, the better money we'll make. So I was going around and just looking at them to see like what to buy. <clears throat> so I first was like, okay, let's let's look at 20. I think that'd be a decent sized field because I was like, okay, 21 might be too much money. I click on 21, it's almost double. Well, it's about eight acres more, and it's like twenty thousand dollars cheaper, thirty thousand dollars cheaper. <clears throat> And then the next thing I kind of saw was over there, all you see on the left side, is the field info, where it says soil distribution, and looks like it's primarily loam, which will give us an expected yield of about 123%, which I thought was pretty interesting, because when you click over here, this one gives us 118%, 118, yeah, I said that right, 118%. And it has sandy loam of 22% and loam of 77. So I found that kind of interesting. Is that kind of tells you what the field is made up of. So I think with the soil sampler, we can go ahead and go through. And we'll probably most likely just see loam. So kind of curious about that because there's, yeah, there's not really any silty clay on it. Because we have sandy loam and silty clay. If we go back, this kind of tells us our potential, our expected yield potential is 93%. And then 95% for 29. So I don't know if that changes because of the soil distribution or if it's based on what nitrogen and pH levels there are currently on that field. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we'll, we'll look at buying 21. It has some flowers in it right now. So when we go ahead and lease a combine, we'll have to get a, a corn header or a sunflower header to get that done. But for now, let's head over to the store. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, so we went with the Hercules. Um, it's a little bit cheaper and it actually holds everything we need to. It even holds manure. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Hercules 10,000 and it has a 24 meter spread, which is pretty nice. Um, I was going to go with the one that attaches to the back, but those only hold about, I think that one only hold like 3,200. So if this one holds about 10,000, has the same spread and we don't have to make less trips to fill it up. Because uh, that was kind of a pain to do that and when I was spreading the lime. And it was cheaper than the one we were going to get. 
So if it's cheaper, holds more, does everything we need it to, that's definitely the more logical choice. So I've got the extension on it, so it holds 13,000. So I only bought 10,000 worth of fertilizer, just for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it all spread onto the field. I highly doubt it'll take all of it, um, just because the fields aren't too big right now. But I think what we'll have to do is we'll end up using it, because if we have decent money after we're done with all of this, I think we'll go ahead and buy Field 21. And I don't know why, but OBS is being a pain today. It's being very laggy. So if like I go down, it just starts to lag like crazy. It just dropped to six frames doing that. So I apologize. I don't think it's the fields. I think it's just OBS. Or there's another thing on my computer that's messing up my recording. You know, it's honestly probably that because it says my CPU is at 26%, 28%. So I don't know what's taking up my processing power. Eh, I'll look at it. Okay. So yeah, definitely give me one sec. You won't even notice. I'll just have to cut. <laughs> cut from here. So... All right, so let's go ahead and get this all fertilized. Bring up that. Actually, I wasn't gonna fertilize this, huh? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot. Yeah, that's fine. We need to. We'll just get it done. Why is it doing that? I never ever painted these edges. At all. So I kind of figured out too that if you paint the edges with the paintable grass, what happens is it'll register it as part of the field for some reason. So that's kind of why I need the dirt skirt uh, for Wilhelmina Forest. Because <clears throat> I went through and I painted in the grass. But through here, I never even painted in the grass, but it's still re kind of registering it as I did. Because as you can see down on the map, it's not registering putting on the nitrogen, which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, pretty frustrating. So yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and just plant. We'll just use the fertilizer to plant there. It's just... Uh, frustrating. You can even see that it's like it's on the field but some of the spots are not even registering that it's on the field. Yeah, I don't get it. Well, we'll just go ahead and fertilize our grass field. That's fine. Hopefully it doesn't do the same thing. Okay. Looks like it's working better. Of course, this is going to need a lot of nitrogen. <laughs> and it's sucking it down pretty quick. And it's kind of crazy to see it go from like that really dark red to just green. Like, almost perfect. I think that might be... I think that might be the max... I wonder if it's like for synthetic fertilizer, I wonder if it, if you can get a full fertilization on it in one shot. Um, but like with manure, like I was doing on Willamina Forest, you have to apply that a couple times. Well, not 100% sure. But it looks like it's getting it to the target, so they pull it up. Yeah, it's that darkish green. That's what it needs to be. And then really dark green. Yeah, it's 100% fertilizing with one shot. That's actually kind of nice. <laughs> I have to sit here and fertilize it three times. 
or twice to get it to where you need it to be. So yeah, I think when we actually go ahead and plant our our arable field, <clears throat> we'll make sure that we have fertilizer in the planter or whatever we decide to plant. And we'll see if that actually helps at all. Because if it does, then we'll just go that route. Because it's kind of frustrating that it wasn't getting the spots, it just was missing spots here and there, which is kind of annoying. So it kind of looks like on the grass field, some of it isn't being fertilized. Because um, I don't think I cut those areas. Which is okay. Like a small amount's not going to do anything. I think we'll be fine. But as you can see, it's taking a lot of fertilizer though. Like using the variable spray usage mod. It probably wouldn't even be... We probably wouldn't even use the thousand... <laughs> I think even base game, we might not even have used a thousand liters. But I think what we'll do today is we'll go ahead and plant our arable field. And I think we might buy field 21 when it comes to selling our silage bales. Because I haven't seen what the price is yet at the BGA for silage. It's 270 per thousand liters which isn't bad it's a lot better than the barn so I think we'll go ahead and sell it that route so that way we can at least make our money from it but yeah I think the fertilizing is going pretty well with the synthetic so sounds like using thin synthetic fertilizer is going to help It'll speed up you being able to fertilize your fields 100%, but it'll also take a lot of it to get it done. So, kind of have to weigh it out. Is it worth paying all that money for fertilizer when you have a bunch of fields or going the manure route and spreading it two to three times to get the full yield, but you don't pay for it? I mean, you technically do, but it is still free fertilizer because the cows are making it for you or pigs whatever you decide to use same with the slurry I mean digestate can come into play as well when you start doing silage so really the only cost is the equipment to make the silage and the, f the price of the field itself and then it'll probably eventually pay for itself no problem so it just kinda depends on what you want to do because I haven't used digestate yet to figure that out uh, my guess is it will kinda act like slurry or it'll act like manure you'll have to you'll have to apply it a couple times okay so we got that fertilized looks like we'll get a full yield once that grows because I think yeah we have it's basically exactly everything it needs to be so I think that's a uh, pretty nice that you only have to apply it once and you're good so I'm kind of curious if grass will even be, or like it'll affect the pH levels, because I know in the base game, lime doesn't even matter when it comes to grass. So I'm kind of curious to see if it'll actually have any effect when it comes to, um, for precision farming. I wonder if lime even has a say in it at all. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the store. So nobody really decided to chime in on what to plant, so <laughs> I think we'll go with potatoes. I have a good idea for potatoes and what to do with them. Um, and I think that'll make it a more of an interesting video, I think, when it comes to harvesting. It might be a little bit time consuming, but I think it'll be pretty cool nonetheless. Okay, well we're going to do something a little different. Uh, my tractor cannot pull any of the potato harvester or potato planters, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and highly stay tractor. Um, just a Sitara um, is 180 horsepower, and I think this cedar is a uh, or the planter is a uh, 170. So I decided to go this route just because this one is six meters versus the other one is at three. Uh, don't want to plant <laughs> at three, so. I decided to go ahead and 
let's buy five more of these. I just decided to go ahead and lease the tractor in this one. It's definitely a little bit better to go this route, I think. It'll speed up the process, um, and we won't spend all day planning this, or all video planting this. But I think in general, we'll definitely spend the time to plant these. Um, let me show you the equipment that I want to use when it comes to potato harvesting. So it's in potato technology. It's these two right here. I really like the idea of this. I've seen this worked before, and I thought it was pretty cool. So you pull this behind you. So this agromat, you just pull it behind you and it digs all the potatoes out of the ground. I'm not 100% sure if you have to remove the tops or not. I'll figure that out. Um, but then once, because these are on, this will actually just place them all on the ground. This, the whatever, how do you ever say that? The Kukowiak, I don't know how to say it. Um, what it does is it picks it up off the ground. So what I'm going to have to do is have a use follow me and have a tractor go beside me with the trailer. And then we'll just go ahead and probably build a shelter to dump the potatoes in and then we'll get them washed and sorted and all that so that way we can make a little bit more money. But yeah, I think that's kind of what I want to do with that field. Um, I know it might take a little bit of time, but again, I'll take the time to do it and kind of show you in the video and edit it out so it's not too, uh, too boring. Because I know with potatoes it's definitely time consuming to harvest them and plant them and but I think in the end they might be a little bit worth the money, at least what I'm hoping, because premium potatoes sell pretty well, uh, especially because we can get a lot of them. I think it might be worth it. So I bought two of these fertilizer containers, I'm not 100% so sure if we'll need them all. But we have them there just in case, and then we can use them for other instances anytime that we need them. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with OBS today, it's pretty laggy. So I apologize for these weird angles, camera angles. Because if I go down, it just lags like crazy. There's nothing over there that can cause it to lag. So I think it's just OBS just being a little bit finicky today. Because we kind of had the same issues with Leisha Zets when we uh, were on there. So hopefully that doesn't turn into the same problem. But I honestly, I just think... I don't know what's going on, to be honest. <laughs> Why it's doing that kind of frustrating yeah I would def I won't bring you guys along for all of the planting because it's gonna take a while um, but what I'll do I don't know if I'll go ahead and time-lapse it or not I might just go ahead and get it all planted and go from there <laughs> bring you guys back when we're getting closer to the end and but I'm definitely going to go ahead and get all of the field planted because I know sometimes people will go ahead and leave like a a mark somewhere. Leave, leave, leave an edge. Okay. Go ahead and get planted up to there. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping that these potatoes will give us a good amount of a good amount of money in the end help us out buy some stuff and just to kind of help us out and hopefully build up our farmyard a little bit more I know potatoes is kind of a weird thing to do when you want money but <laughs> I mean hey if premium potatoes pay well might as well do them we need to get rid of those bushes those are going to kind of be in the way a little bit so I'm kind of looking at the map down there. It looks like we might have to go ahead and fertilize this one more time. Because it's not dumping out a lot of fertilizer. So my guess is it's going to be, yeah, we're going to have to fertilize it one more time. I'm hoping with the potatoes planted that it'll go ahead and just register that it's potatoes. <laughs> it won't actually even pick up the grass edge. Um, but if it's going to pick up the grass edge, I might just go ahead and put dirt around it. I'm not sure. Just kind of depends what happens next. But yeah, if that's going to be an issue, that's going to be frustrating. I mean, the quick fix is to just go ahead and put a dirt skirt, but eh. if I can avoid that at all costs, I'd rather do that. So 
So yeah, we're going to have to come through and at least fertilize it one more time. Which is fine. I'm not that, it's not that bad to do that. But it is fertilizing, which is nice. So I think the target, I'm not really sure what the target is. Oh, maybe it is that weird yellow. So maybe it is 100% fertilizing. Uh, I think once we're done, we'll go ahead and I'll drive through the field with the help menu open. And we'll see if it does, if the target has been met for all of it. If it has, then that's awesome. And we don't have to worry about fertilizing it again. We just skip through and make sure that we get it all harvested and get ready to go. Because uh, I think these are ready... Yeah, these are ready about the first week of August. Or the first couple of days of August. For autumn. <laughs> I don't know why I said August. Oh, that was a terrible turn. I don't even have realistic steering on. Creating my own realistic steering. Okay. Alright, we'll turn that off. So I think I'll go... Because I think this only plants at 7, I think. Pretty sure. At least. Yeah, it only plants at 7 miles an hour. So it's definitely it will take some time because most planters will do like between 9 to 12 miles an hour. So that's why potatoes take forever. I mean, that's why I didn't want to go 3 meters because it takes a minute. Uh, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and skip forward to where we're almost at the end. I won't even time lapse this because this will take some time to do. Even through a time lapse, you're probably looking at it like a 15 minute time lapse within a Let's Play. So I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. And then I'll bring you guys back. And then we'll get, go ahead and take a look at the fertilization stages. Uh, and see if it's fully fertilized. To see if the target has been met for the soil type. Okay. So I will see you guys here in a bit. Alright, we're on our last pass. Did take some time. Um, I think it took me about a half hour. Give or take. So it definitely took a few minutes to get all this planted, but we have just about everything done. Um, I did have to go get some more potatoes to put into the planter, so we're using just the last bit of it now. So it took about 16-ish thousand potatoes to get this planted, <laughs> so it took a bit. Um, I did fill up the fertilizer again as it was like at 50%, so doing that actually gave us enough to get everything done. So we do have some extra fertilizer as well as potatoes. I did end up buying, let me show you. So with the realistic cedar mod, <clears throat> it's pretty nice. They actually have the potatoes that you can buy. So this potato pallet, and it comes with 2,100 potatoes in it and it's 1290. So it's slightly cheaper than buying the bags, but the bags only have a thousand. So you just have to divide that by two and it's about 600 ish dollars per 1000 liters so it's much cheaper to go that route so let's go ahead and dump all this out I think you can yes okay so we got all that dumped we'll leave this right here so let's go look at the field real quick just to make sure that we have oh I need the Dang it. <laughs> Let's grab the fertilizer spreader. Because you need something that has fertilizer in it so you can get the actual fertilizing, whatever that's called, the actual amount of fertilizer on the field. I mean, we could probably just go ahead and check, but I want to see if we even hit the targets for all of it. If we did, then great. If not, we'll go ahead and fertilize again. So target reached on all of this over here. Let's head over here. So that's all silty clay. And then let's see on sandy loam. We have reached our target on here as well. Can you add any more? Nope. So it looks like our fertilizing is completely done on this field, which is great. That helps out a lot. So that'll give us enough money, or that'll give, enough, give us enough potatoes to hopefully make some decent amount of money. Because um, I know with that set, it's not quite 
that's above that's interesting so if you come through so it looks like it depends on the crop where it should be at so we're above on this area right here we're above the actual target so that's not bad so that might be a benefit to being able to fertilize before you plant but I'm not 100% sure if it'll affect it later on I have no idea so with that I think what we'll do today is we'll go ahead and finish out the rest of the episode we'll probably end up building just the what's it called the sorter and the washer and get that going I think that might be what we'll do for the rest of the day. Let's turn that off. We'll return those here in a minute. Uh, so what we're going to do, I think it's in the global company. Yep. So we got the potato washer and the potato sorter. So for the washer, we'll have to figure out where we're going to put it. But I want to go look at the different types of sheds that we have. We might have to go with the easy shed here, but that's expensive. I want to do something that's a little bit cheaper. But I don't think I have anything that's cheaper. But that's worth to take a look. I might have to download something. So that way we can house it. So this one's not bad. Let's see how big this one is. Decent sized. I think we should be able to be good with this one. Let's look at what else we have. No, I think that's too short. So is that. Okay, that's all we have. So I think this shed will be perfect. It's, it's not a drive through so I think we'll just stick with this one. I think this one will be good. And it has lights, which is even better. But I have to figure out where I want to put it. Because I have to figure out where I'm going to put the house as well on here. I think the house... I think the house might go in this corner over here. And then we could put the potato washer stuff here. I don't know if we go this way, that way. Let's do... Let's place these first to figure out where we're going to put it, everything. So we definitely need a belt system. So this side over here is where you put the potatoes. So um, I think... Try to center this right here the best we can. Probably push it back a little bit. Of course, that tree is going to be in the way, so we might have to cut that down. I think there's good. And then we're going to need some belt systems as well. So, oh, this thing's tiny. I forgot how tiny it was. So the potatoes go into the back. I don't know if you can directly put potatoes in here I am not 100% sure like you can't just put it here and then all of a sudden it goes in no problem I think we have to get it some kind of belt system going in here so we can get these sorted I think we'll just go with one for now I think eventually we might have to go buy another one but I want to be able to let's place that there <clears throat> kind of want to sit here and try to figure this out for a second Let's see what kind of belt stuff I have. So I think we'll definitely need this. By used, we'll stick with red. I'm good with that. I think we might need two of these. And then Probably just one of these. So let's go pick those up. Might as well just use this for now while we have it. We're not quite at our hour yet, so we might as well get the use. We might as well get the use out of it. So let's go pick those up. Let's we'll situate those, and then we'll go ahead and place the shelter over it, so that way it's all covered. So I'll see you guys back at the farm. That might be the best way to do it. And to avoid all of the, uh, the lag. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys back at the farm. 
Okay, so I got it all the belts set up. Um, I bought an extra one of the these right here. Push that one aside. I think we could probably just go directly into there and then see what happens. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll we'll find out. So for some reason, I'm also having a hard time hitching to the belt systems for some reason. So like none of my tractors would hitch to it. And I had the same issue with Wilhelmina Forest. I thought it was just the mod I was using, but it looks like I might have a mod conflict somewhere. I have no idea. So if you know and if you're having the same issues, let me know. Because it's not just this map, I know that. It has to be something else. I'm not 100% sure what it is though. But yeah, so I got this all set up. So the potatoes will dump here. Uh, this bell will suck them up, put them onto this conveyor belt, and shove them into our washer. Uh, we have to get water and stuff into the washer, so uh, we'll have to go ahead and buy a, just a, probably just a small tray or tanker. And then hopefully this dumps straight into this belt and dumps straight into the sorter. And then we'll go ahead and grab it with probably a bucket, is my guess. Because I don't think we can dump directly into a trailer. Because I think this is too oops, this is too small. So we'll just get a bucket under there and go ahead and get everything collected and probably dumped into a trailer. So we'll have to go buy one of those as well. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not 100% sure how these work, to be honest. But let's see. So pig food, it looks like you can probably get a... looks like pig food gets it out of this, and so is premium potatoes. And then our input are washed potatoes, which we have over there. So hopefully that setup works. I'm hoping it does. <laughs> if not, we'll have to tamper with it a little bit and see if we can maybe push this back a little bit. I'm not 100% sure right now. So, let's go ahead and buy our shed. We'll stick with the one that we looked at before. It's $3,500, which isn't bad. And I think it's big enough to where we can get everything housed under it with absolutely no shoes. So, let's probably make sure it's all squared up. Looks like the sorter might be out a little bit. But that's fine. As long as everything else works. Now it looks like that'll be good right there. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's like barely high enough. But it... Hey, it'll work. We'll have to get rid of that tree. But yeah, it's sort of good. Cool. Yeah, it looks like it placed down the dirt. So it kind of got rid of that dirt over there. So we'll have to get the dirt on that end figured out. But I think what we'll do is we will put I think that down kind of give us a base of make it kind of seem a little bit more structurally sound than it is I barely missed that conveyor didn't I Alright, I think we'll just leave that, eh, maybe we'll just do this, yeah that'll work. Alright, so we got that all set up, so when we're ready to harvest our potatoes, we can just dump it here, turn on all the conveyor belts, and then get everything put in. Um, I know there's like a limit to how much can be put into there, which is fine, we'll just have to watch it. And then come over here and empty this out every so often as well while it's getting washed or getting sorted. So we'll have to. I don't think. I don't think this one can have a bucket on it. So we might have to figure that out. Uh, we might have to sell this tractor and buy a different one. But I don't know how much this tractor will sell for right now. Let's take a look. Yeah, 21000 I don't think it'll give us enough. So we might have to do a couple of contracts to be able to uh, probably afford a new tractor. One that actually gives you the option to have a front loader. So I don't know if it's in... I don't think it's in there. Probably maybe this one or this one. 
yeah, it does have a front loader, so we might have to go with this one. Because it gives us a little bit more horsepower. So if we add, let's do this, let's add GPS on it. We'll keep the tires where they're at right now. Tire sound doesn't really matter, but 40%. If we go used, so we got 95,000. So if we sell the other one and then get a couple contracts done, we might go ahead and be able to buy this tractor as well as a front loader. So we might have to get those done so that way we can buy those. But I think other than that, pretty much solid at this point. Let's get these returned. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why I can't hitch to any of these conveyors. It's kind of a kind of annoying, but I'm kind of curious if I could put this here and have it shovel out all of our premium potatoes. Then we can directly pour into a trailer, kind of have it more of automated. Um, we'll have to play around with it for sure, just to kind of see what we can do. Let's go grab our truck. So I was running around in the field. Um, as you can see, there's like some parts that says nitrogen's good. Some says bad. Like over here, I think some of it says bad. Yeah, here. So we'll have to play around with that too. And Well, yeah, we'll have to play around with it and kind of look at it and see if we can go over it again with fertilizer. If we can, we will do that. So that way we can make sure that we get a full yield from our potatoes. Still debating whether or not to take the contract for that other potatoes if it becomes available. It might be worth it, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so I'll just leave this here for now. We'll get all that unloaded before the next episode. Yeah, I don't think this episode's going to be too long. Because uh, primarily the goal was to get the potatoes planted. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than it did. Which, thankfully it didn't. And then getting the potato washer system built so that way we can get our premium potatoes sold and make some extra money because they sell for pretty decent amount of money we'll go over and take a look at them so like i said the last episode that the seasons does affect it so i think with seasons we'll have to take a look at where the best time to sell them is so base game potatoes 382 and then with our premium potatoes 905 so it looks like the winter is probably the best time so the third day of winter fourth day of winter uh, we'll definitely take a look at the prices in the second day of winter yeah i'd rather just stick with the premium potatoes because they sell a lot better because i mean the the height of the potato price for washed potatoes is 526 and it doesn't even drop below 526 for premium so if we stick with premium we'll definitely make a lot more money we'll get quite a bit off the fields i think once we get them sorted and turn them into premium potatoes we think we i think we lose some of them and that's where the pig food part comes in is whatever ones that aren't great those become pig food so we'll have to empty that out every so often because over here i think this little square right here is actually what the pig food would be because the the good potatoes they come out this end and then the potatoes that aren't premium they fall to the grate and that's where our pig food comes out so we'll definitely see how much uh premium potatoes we get out of all our out of this whole field so i don't know what the potential yield is on these yet because it doesn't really give us that information on the field info it just keeps jumping between the nitrogen and the lime so we'll see how much we get out of 10.37 acres <laughs> well that's all i got for today um i hope you enjoyed this video it's a pretty quick one i think um i still have to edit obviously but i mean i didn't record that much and it'll probably be closer to a half hour video which is kind of where i want to get but with getting stuff done and getting all the work that we need done completed half hour might not be realistic so we'll probably end up doing two or three videos of our, like one part of the season so like in late spring this will be the third video um, I think we might have to do that so we can get work done 
because I don't think passing a day each video makes sense when it comes to a Let's Play, because there's a lot of stuff to do, but not a lot of time to do it, especially when you're recording a video that you don't want to take an hour to do. Like, you don't want to have to put an hour video out there, because people don't really want to do, don't really want to take the time to view it. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Um, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. Definitely helps out the channel. Definitely gets me out there. And I also want to put a, a note in here too that I'm getting a lot of subscribers. And I appreciate everybody who's taken the time to watch my videos, uh, likes them enough to subscribe. It's awesome to see. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it all. And then uh, I can, one more thing too is I've been working with uh, Creighton Gaming. Um, he does have his own YouTube channel, so definitely check him out. Uh, we do videos every so often together. Uh, we've been doing uh, Oakfield Farm. Uh, we haven't been able to do that for a while just because his multiplayer isn't working on his game for some reason. So he's going to try to figure that out. But yeah, definitely take a look at his videos. He does time-lapse videos as well. He kind of, yeah, just check out his channel. See if you, see if you like it. See if you can get him, get him a subscriber. His goal is to get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's see if we can help him out with that. But yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> I suck at outros, obviously. Uh, every time. But yeah, but that's all I got for today. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, take care. Bye.